mayor's upset, Walker. We all get upset when kids are murdered, Councilman. Murdered? I'll tell that to our esteemed coroner. She says the autopsy shows no sign of foul play or drugs. Sometimes these things take a while to sort out, Councilman. The autopsy states that both hearts just stopped. Give me a break. Healthy teenagers don't drop dead for no reason. Maybe they were scared to death. These rumors about killer ghosts already have the public worried. The press is going to have a field day. Well, something or someone was out there. Well, find him, Walker. Please. As long as there's unexplained questions about those deaths, construction at the site will be held up. It's going to cost the city a fortune. Councilman Graham, Tara Flynn from the Herald. Why won't you return my phone calls? I've been busy, Miss Flynn. If I'd known how attractive you were, I would have shown better manners. I'm interested in your comments about the events surrounding the construction project in your district. Now, we have an ongoing investigation into the Amesmore killings. What is City Hall covering up, Councilman? I don't know anything about a cover-up. The night watchman said he saw Indian spirits attack the boys. <laughs> it's a little bit far-fetched, don't you think? Well, your architect said he saw ghosts as well. Kyle Jennings is a severely disturbed individual, as his attempted suicide would indicate. Yes, but he calls it attempted murder. You're looking for a quote, right? Well, here it is. All this talk about supernatural phenomenon, it's nothing more than a smokescreen devised by opponents to progress and growth in the city. Can you name those opponents? All you need to know is that a worthless old building will be replaced by an office tower that's going to house hundreds, hundreds of city employees. Now, construction will continue, Miss Flynn, as scheduled. I think that's the end of our interview. Thank you.